24 minutes in the books at FedEx Forum, a.k.a. the Grindhouse in Memphis, and the Grizzlies, who took game one, never trailing in the process, have come back to take a 50-39 to 39 lead at halftime. Hot start for Portland, but they could not sustain it. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Charles Barkley, Sprint Halftime Report. Um, by the way, NBA TV right now has the Hawks and the Nets. It's a great five game. Five-point Atlanta lead over Brooklyn. Of course, you could turn to that, but then you'd miss what these guys have to say, oh. especially what Kenny has to say about Mike Conley's first half. Well, you know, the, the one thing that we've always known about Memphis is they're high-low with either Zach Randolph in the post or Gasol in the post and the other on the, at the free throw line. Their ability to pass and make things happen is probably the difference why Chuck feels that they're probably contending for the championship, correct? Yes, sir. But what puts them over the top is Mike Conley. And Mike Conley puts him over the top. And if he's not hurt, then his ability to turn the corner sets up so many different things. So as we let the play run, you're, you're defending and you say, Freezer right here. They have a double pick. Tony Allen sets one. Gasol sets one. And now you have the defenders back in the paint. But his ability, he say, we have Nicholas Batum, Charles is great defender on him. He is able to turn the corner and finish with the Euro step with either hand. His right hand finish is just as good as his left. And then all of them, actually better, I think. Again, Zach Randolph sets the pick, and he doesn't even get it. Freeze it here. He gets it back on that dribble handoff. And he's going to make, because Gasol is such a good shooter and a good passer to Randolph, Lopez has to stay close to him. What happens? Conley gets in, shoots the right hand floater again, knocks it down. But this is where he's improved his game and made him the most underrated point guard. His ability to knock down a three-point shot and off the same pick and roll, I come off, and instead of turning the corner, I could knock the three down. That's changed his game and made him a better basketball player. And to me, like we said, the most underrated point guard in the NBA. 14 points on five of eight shooting in the first half. Also, Beno Udri comes off the bench again and uh, sparks him eight points on four of seven. Meantime, um, as, you, as you look at Conley and, and Udri uh, and their combined numbers in the first half, when you talk about the Portland Trailblazers, Damian Lillard, uh, struggled in the first game from the field. Same deal tonight. Three for ten, seven points. LaMarcus Aldridge in game one scored 32 but needed 34 shots to do it. He's been more efficient tonight. Yes, he's been much more efficient tonight. Uh, I was trying to say before uh, before the game started that, you know, one of these guys is going to have a monster game and the other one needs to play consistent. Uh, right now, you know, uh, uh, <clears throat> LaMarcus Aldridge is playing very well. He averaged 29.8 last year in the Houston series. He had 32 the other day. And, you know, this guy's just incredible. You got to get him the ball. You got to go to him. You know, if, if he can continue to have monster games and his partner can play a little bit more consistent, then they have a chance. But right now, he's out there by himself. Damian Lillard, you know, he seems to me, if he's not scoring, he seems uninterested in the game. You know, he's not really doing much else. And, uh, you know, I don't know what it takes to be a great shooter, but I know, you know, there's other, you know, a, a, aspects of the game that you can help your team win but right now you know the Portland one two punch the one or the one two punch his jab ain't working well you, you're still in trouble with because Zach Randolph hasn't scored <laughs> you, yeah. you, and you're losing easily yeah. well and Zach Randolph six. is the biggest part of this offense uh, uh, most nights yeah. how about your x-factor Nick Batum does? he's not played well uh, you know, to me, he's always, but I expect Lillard and Audrey to play well, but Nick Batum, he's inconsistent, man. He's the X factor. But, you know, uh, Shaq, I want to pick it back on something Shaq says. The one negative to Damon's game is when he doesn't score, he has no impact on the game. That's one of the problems when we talk about guys who are good players, guys who are stars, guys who are all-stars and superstars. What separates those guys is the ability to have an imprint on the game. Uh, when you're not doing what you do well. Like, sometimes you're not going to make shots. But if the only thing you do is make shots, you put your team at a disadvantage. You can't play great defense. You can't get a bunch of rebounds. That's what separates. Because I always tell people, everybody in the NBA can play. But what separates guys is stat stuffers, guys who are able to do a bunch of different things. One of my uh, great coaches I played for, Paul Silas, I was going to whip his ass in the locker room one night. I always wanted him to hear that. You got a head, too. Yeah, he told me I had a head, too. But he always <laughs> says something. You have to have an NBA talent. What can you do to help your team win? 
Uh, that's your thing. And right now, Damian Lillard, his talent is to score. When he's not scoring, he has zero impact on the game. Yeah, no assists in the first half for Damian Lillard with his seven points. Mike Conley leads him with 14, and it's the Grizzlies 50 to 39. Welcome to the Sprint Halftime Report. Bring in your Verizon or AT&T bill, and we'll cut your rate plan in half. Cut your bill in halftime highlights. Uh, Mike Budenholzer uh, with Lenny Wilkins and Mike Fratello, former Atlanta. I love Mike here. Fratello and the great Lenny Wilkins. Uh, uh, former Hawk Joe Johnson knocking down a three. Dennis Schroeder. Oh, that's a quick 10 point lead. Paul Millsap, mm. 4 3. 82 to 70. He came to the party today, huh? And then Al Horford. Pinky. 11 point lead. But Say if, it again. If you don't like the Brooklyn bench, you don't know Jack. Jared Jack. Oh, Watch him out of the that one all day. Oh, no. When he had a good game, I thought about it, and I just oh, pulled it out. Oh, my. Good one. Uh, it went over very one, well. One point game. You wasn't sure. That, that was good. good already. That was he good. almost didn't make the playoffs. Well. You couldn't even use that. Yeah, I know. Till yeah. next year. These things come to me like that. <laughs> you had to wait a whole year to use that. Fat hey, we welcome you back. Moments ago on NBA TV, great pass. Paul Millsap to Damari Carroll in the ball. 92 to 89. Allen Anderson comes right oh, back. Oh, back right at a one-point game. Ball back at you. And um, even as we speak, it's 93-91 Atlanta with uh, 28.6 to play. Again, it's on NBA TV if you got it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you get carried away. <laughs> Uh, Jeff Teague uh, getting his right. He came back too. He, I know, but he, he, would, he would return. return. Yes, is that did. Elton Brand? Yes, it is. Yes. Elton Brand. They took him off the uh, inactive list. Harold Antich. Oh, and Slap Boys. As the Hawks close the 